So there's wide things, there's super wide things, then there's just flat out ultra wide things. This thing here is the ladder, guys. What a beautiful brand new display this thing is from BenQ, guys. Oh my goodness, it's pretty obvious. I've actually been using it with my Switch. What is up my friends? It's Ray back here and today I want to share with you guys something super cool that I've actually been using over the past few weeks. You can see the gigantic box over there in the background. This here is the brand new BenQ EX3501R 35 inch ultra wide HDR curved display. Whew, that's a mouthful. Now being a hardcore gamer, not only is it my duty to bring you guys the latest in gaming, but also tech. Tech that can be used to make the experience better. Having a cool gaming setup is pretty important. Like, you guys know I build my home theater system, right? I'm always trying to improve mine, always trying to make it better, whether it be headphones, consoles, projectors, or even displays. I'm always like trying to keep up on the latest and greatest. So thanks to the amazing people over at BenQ, I'm actually getting to continue to do just that and share it with you guys as well. This is my first ultra wide display display so I'm really super hyped about this so let's get right to reviewing it shall we first off the first thing you're gonna notice about the ex 3501 r is that gorgeous near bezel as display finding a monitor that looks both as good as it displays an image has always been kind of a chore but nowadays things are really really getting classy and this one here is no exception the build quality is as good as it gets it really feels top of the line with a 1800 r panoramic curve a resolution of 3440 by 1440 and that near bezel is designed like really what's not to love about this thing BenQ really checked off a whole bunch of boxes here also inside of this massive thing BenQ also added AMD free sync tech as well as a hundred Hertz refresh rate which means you're gonna be getting a whole lot of buttery smooth gameplay here without broken frames or choppy images so that's really really great aside from aesthetics I think this is what really makes the ex 3501r shine it was evident when I was playing Mario Kart it was evident when I was editing videos it was evident when I was just like playing games in general this thing makes games look really as smooth as silk sure it's no like 144 hertz monitor but like i said this thing really makes everything look stunning the colors are rich and vibrant the image is very very sharp and like i said that refresh rate is really just the icing on the cake this is really a fantastic ultra wide monitor i will admit though guys that i did have a bit of trouble trying to make the colors pop on this thing at first but luckily the menu system is actually pretty intuitive and it's actually pretty easy to navigate so we all know sometimes monitors out there can be pretty frustrating when it comes to settings so that's kind of a relief but there are a lot of presets and settings that you can use to actually fine-tune the image that you can get it just right for you it's not that the picture looks really bad out of the box that's nowhere near the case it's just that always taking the extra time always going the extra mile will always make things look better for your personal need regardless of which monitor you're using this one here it's certainly no exception so make sure you dive into the settings and just fine-tune it a little bit so you can get it just right for you another cool feature that BenQ added into this monitor is brightness intelligence this is pretty much exactly what it says it is intelligent brightness we see this in smartphones tablets and pretty much everything nowadays this adjusts the brightness of the monitor depending on the lighting of the room to give you that perfect level of comfort for viewing it works really really well for what it is whether you place it in like a bedroom or a dark room or a bright studio space this thing will automatically adjust to whatever you need it to it's a very nice feature to have but obviously if you don't want to have it you can turn it off and manually do all your brightness settings and stuff like that it's a welcome feature to have because it works really really well for what it does now another thing worth noting here that kind of got me as well is that this monitor is labeled as an HDR monitor it is not a true HDR monitor though true HDR monitors are very very expensive displays like I'm talking like double or triple the price of this thing over here so what BenQ does here is they try to emulate that experience through software we're seeing a lot of companies doing this nowadays to try and bring down the price of HDR monitors and with all the other monitors that I reviewed in the past BenQ really did a great job here just like the past BenQ monitors that I did like the colors look really really fantastic overall I think the EX 3501R is really a fantastic monitor whether you choose to use it for video editing gaming or everyday tasks all that extra screen real estate it really does make a difference especially when you're multitasking everything from the build quality to the picture quality is really very impressive BenQ made a fantastic monitor here and it really is great for what it does for 850 
$150, you get a lot of quality for your money, but I can't help but feel that high price tag might have a lot of people exploring cheaper options. Regardless though, ultra wide monitors like these are great because they kind of eliminate the need for having dual monitors and they look ultra fantastic as well. If you're in the market for a new monitor and are exploring around the $800 to $1,000 price range, that EX3501R is definitely one to consider. It is a beautiful display and I can't help but give it my stamp of approval. Alrighty guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to leave a comment down in the comments box down below letting me know your favorite way to game. Do you like gaming on a gaming monitor? Do you like gaming on a gaming projector? Do you like gaming on handheld consoles? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments box down below. Alrighty guys, that's about it. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button for new videos coming your way every Thursday, Sunday, sometimes more. You know it's going down over here on the channel. So many fun things coming your way. So until next time, I will catch you guys later. Peace.